beautiful people. Welcome back and happy Valentine's Day to you all. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing something kind of fun, not very hard. Uh, I have these wooden boxes that are heart shaped that I got from Amazon that I'm really excited about. And I have painted them with some Amsterdam titanium white um, and they're ready to go. So with raw wood you always want to put a coat, a base coat on there. And this is the titanium white. We're going to be doing the sandwich pour, which I think is going to be beautiful with the colors I've chosen. And I have some little embellishments I want to do afterwards, maybe. This is the Pebio Vitrio kind of puffy paint that I've used on a couple of other pieces. It's really pretty and fun. And I found these beautiful little dried flowers that we might use also for embellishment. So let's get started. I'll show you my colors first. So the first color we're going to be using, I'm really excited about. I've been having this little love affair with this Pebio Iridescent Red Blue. I just, I love what it does, this magic trick where it dries with that electric blue flash to it. It's just so beautiful and so pretty. And I'm really excited with how this is going to work out. I also have my Decor Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And I have a little bit of my Amsterdam Pearl Yellow that dries in that beautiful light gold color. And then I have some Amsterdam Titanium White, which is always awesome. Found on a mound, sinking into itself pretty quickly, and we're ready to go. So we're going to do a sandwich pour, which is actually more white than color, so it's a great use for some of your leftover colors if you don't have a lot left. Um, for the smaller boxes, we're going to be using these little... 5 ounce Dixie cups, which probably won't fill it up all the way because one of them will more than cover. But we're probably going to do two, one on each side. And the same size on this bigger one. And then for the biggest size, I'll probably use this 7 ounce cup because I do want to make sure I get the paint to come down over the sides as well. Okay, so let's actually start on the little one first to see how it goes. Let's layer two cups for it. Okay. So sandwich pour, we're going to start with a thicker layer of white on the bottom. Sorry, you can't see through this cup, but it'll be all right. And then we're just going to drizzle layers of color on top of that. Not a lot, but we're going to do it a few times. So that's the red blue. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of gold on there. And sandwich boards are really awesome because you can totally customize it. If you want more color, put more color in. If you want more white, put more white in. This is the pearl yellow. And then I'm going to put another layer of white on top of that to cover that up. So we're sandwiching our colors in between the layers of the white. We're going to do one more. And when you're using this, it helps if you're using really strong colors. You don't want to use pastels or anything because they are going to get a little bit washed out with the, the white that's in there. But this creates a really beautiful marbled effect, kind of. And I think it's going to be really pretty on these boxes. I think I'm going to skip the... Well, no, we won't. Let me use it. A little bit of pearl yellow in. And another layer of white. excited about this. Are you excited, HOA? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's turn it this way so you guys can see. I'm Actually, excited about you being my Valentine. Aww. You haven't asked me yet. What are you talking about? I've been asking you for over two weeks. Will you be my Valentine? I would love to be your Valentine. Okay, here we go. So we're going to take our first one and we're just going to do a flip cup right on top of there. This is just a little student grade canvas, so if we want to pour something with the drips, we can. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. So there's one. Just give that a few magic taps. Are you ready, darling? Yes, my Valentine. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's pretty. That's cool. I don't even want to lip it. Okay. Let's do this one. This one so it goes more over the sides and back. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pick it up 
and tilt it a little bit to make sure that the sides are covered as well. It's really cute. Isn't the short side one the most important? Because that's the top. Yeah, but that one's covered. It's this other side that I want to keep covered too. Just a little bit more over here. Okay, that's looking pretty cute. And we're just going to put that one right there for now. Okay, let's do this bigger one and just open it up. We'll get rid of these. Okay, let's lay our cup for this size. <clears throat> so based on how much came out of that little cup, I think either we need to fill it all the way up or I might use these bigger size 9-ounce cups. I think I'm going to go with the bigger ones. Better safe than sorry. Okay, we're gonna start with some white. And then we're gonna do that same thing, but I think I'm gonna pour it this time. And put a little bit more color. But you see how beautiful that one is? It's like this very pretty pastel y marble with some gold cells on top, which is awesome. A little bit of gold. A little bit of the pearl yellow. And now another layer of white. Okay, we're going to do that again. Yes, my Valentine. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So that's good. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Okay, let's do this one. it a little bit. That's cool. Okay. And I will put these up on boxes when they're drying. That's looking really pretty already too. Okay, let's get rid of these. I like the cells on the first one. Yeah. It's really awesome. They will develop cells as we go along too. Let's just tilt this out just because there's a lot of paint on here. We want the boxes to sit flat. Okay. This one is just to catch the paint anyhow, so not really important. All right. I was gonna say, that's pretty cool like it is. <laughs> we can move it. Just keep it that way, but 
Okay, so let's layer our last two cups. I have another cup of white standing by. Just gonna pour some of this in the bottom. This is the same titanium white. Okay. That red blue and magic color. Another layer of white. Bring this back over and we're gonna open this up. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Alright, ready? Should I turn it this way? Here we go. Let's do this one. Whoops. Ready? First one. I don't know if I'd like it enough to keep it or if I'd rather put another cup on that side because there's a lot of gold on there now. What do you I think? think? That was awesome. Are you kidding me? Okay. Alright. Well, we're going to let these dry. Make sure that everything is covered on them. It trips me out how many cells come up with like a couple of seconds. It's awesome. Alright, so when these are dry, we will come back and I will see how. Maybe putting some of these dried flowers and some of that pebio on there if we need it. And uh, see how we do. So, 
Thanks for being here with us tonight. We'll be right back with dried results. Here we are a couple of days later and they are totally dry. Um, I did put a coat of spray varnish on top of them just to keep them shiny and protect them a little bit more, but they came out so cute. I love all these gold cells on the top of this one. This one was the middle size one and we have the bigger one up there. It came out very, very pretty. I love some of these cells up there at the top with that beautiful iridescent red blue around the gold. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm trying not to get my shadow in here. Um, the little one I did pour on top of again. I did do another cup just because it was a lot of gold on it. I know HOA liked it like that. But these came out so cute and so pretty to me. The bottoms are really cute. Some of them I like the bottom better. <laughs> but they did come out adorable. And I really like that. And of course, you know, we have that the little magic trick with the iridescent blue violet. You can see it on there a second ago. I can make it shift for you guys in the sunlight. It was doing it before. Okay, this one we can definitely see it. So there's that pretty pink section. And then when we tilt it, we start to see the blue <laughs> sun is <laughs> glaring. But there is that beautiful electric blue shift on there. You kind of see it right there a little bit. But very cool stuff. I love that magic trick that that paint does. The Pebbia ones are just really, really awesome for that. And the sides are all covered and the back is really pretty and stuff you know just something simple and fun for valentine's day and they're useful functional art that you can ooh, you can kind of see it there <laughs> useful functional art the pretty jewelry boxes so these are not lined right now there's nothing inside and i didn't paint the insides but you could totally paint the inside you could put some velvet in there or some satin in there and just make it look really cool so this was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed this one today and hoa and i wish you all a very very happy valentine's day i hope your heart is full of love and light and happiness and you get to spend it with someone special who cherishes you that you cherish so thank you so much for being here with us happy valentine's day to you all and we'll see you real soon bye bye you said my world Just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you Till we grow old